Hi, I'm Dwayne Goldman, the manufacturer and developer of the Disc Doctor's Record Cleaning Materials. This products were developed specifically for the purpose of cleaning shellac, lacquer, acetate, and vinyl recordings back to the dawn of recorded sound. They can be used either by hand with a suitable applicator or with any cleaning machine available on the market. Uh, the cleaning level is the same with both, properly handled and, and used. The cleaning only has to be done one time. We believe it's the most effective thorough cleaning available and after 20 years most of our customers and the world believes that these are the best way to clean records. The fluids are available in, in both uh, half gallon, quart and pint containers. The original product and the most thorough product that we have available today is a two-step process and for this level of cleaning requires a rinse that's easily done with mm. distilled or reverse osmosis filtered water. Several years ago we introduced an extremely potent companion, the quick wash solution, which doesn't require a rinse and mm. performs probably 98% of the cleaning of the original product. It too only requires a single application and the fluid is also long term stable on storage as long as the bottles are kept closed. So you make an applicator or a brush as well? Yes, yes. The applicator is a custom synthetic rubber extrusion. Normally you see it as a black pad for, for easier visibility. We're showing it to you with a blue pad. The pads are user replaceable, wow. easily done. The handles are, a, as I said, a custom synthetic extrusion which will last a lifetime and the pads themselves will normally are replaced every 150 to 200 LPs. The, the, the brush sizes are available for cleaning not only 12 inch vinyl, but also shorter brushes are available for cleaning 10 and 7 inch vinyl, mm. as well mm -hmm. as out to 16 inch shellac and lacquer and acetate discs. The, br the reason for the brush sizes is that they are mated to record size and label diameter. So the, yeah, fluids, right? so the fluids are effectively used and the labels are protected. Good point. Seems like it's got a bit of an unusual shape to the Well, the shape was designed by uh, uh, several years of effort to design a brush specifically for this purpose. The void in the center of the brush, the slight convex nature of the bottom of the brush, and raised edges on the outside, when gentle pressure is applied, maximizes the flatness of the bottom and contact surface of the record. Excessive pressure is not required to use the brush. The brush is an effective agitator of the fluid. The fluid is doing the work. Ah. So someone's hand doesn't work after, the, after they've finished cleaning a dozen records. Hmm. And your goal is purely to clean, not lubricate as well? Purely to clean. There is no need for any interface between the groove and the stylus. Hmm. And that is the maximum performance. That's the reason why the hallmark of our research efforts was to thoroughly remove the mold release wax from the surface of the records. It was never, never there as a lubricant. It was always there as a mold release wax so uh -huh. that the stamper could be pulled away effectively from the plastic. And it's, it's our belief it's just a long misunderstanding thinking of that wax as a lubricant. As a lubricant, yeah. And yeah. this is why when it's thoroughly removed, you don't have to do it again, mm. providing you keep your fingerprints off the record. Mm -hmm. Apply mm -hmm. a carbon fiber brush or equivalent for micro dust removal and the records don't have to be cleaned again. Hmm. So you actually recommend cleaning a record before the first play? Yes, yes. And, and then every record, whether new or used, suffers that same thing. The surface is coated with a thin film of mold release wax. A lot of people in Audigon have been talking about steam cleaning records. Yes, sir. What would, what would be your opinion on that? We've not been able to, in, in our test comparisons, ever justify the use. Mm. Mm. I know that some people seem to seem to find a, a, an improvement. We can't. We haven't been able to consistently demonstrate one, and we also can't seem to find a reason why it should be necessary. Mm. Because this product has been shown in in by a number of methods, including uh, light microscopy and electron microscopy, to generate a clean surface. So there's n no justification whatsoever for doing anything to the groove other than cleaning the record. Clean it. Fascinating.